Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective pick a card for what are the messages from Goddess Hecate, the Triple Moon Goddess, the Goddess of the In Between, the Oceans, the Skies, the Underworld. We have three piles pile one, pile two, and pile three. Take a deep breath, choose from the heart. Pause the video if you need more time. We're going to get started with pile one. Hey, pile one, if you chose this pile, this is your reading. These are random messages, and then we have a couple of oracle cards. Not oracle, excuse me, um, tarot cards as well. So what are the messages for you from Goddess Hecate? You guys could be a fire sign, Aries, or you're dealing with one. Then we have cleanse yourself, sage, crystals, salt bath. So you guys could be cleansing yourself from a fire sign, or you're starting to feel very driven to do some type of cleansing, especially on this full moon in Virgo. You could have a famous social media platform, or you are in the public eye, which is funny because I put the evil eye here. I just felt guided to put that for you. Maybe you guys um, could be dealing with some evil eye or you have evil eye protection then you have long hair with this for me you don't have long hair i feel like this also is symbolic of the fact that you have a lot of wisdom and i feel like goddess hecate is giving you a lot of messages and she's allowing you to stand strong and true with regards to who you are with the four of pentacles this is the sense of calling your energy back if you were dealing with a fire sign the aries is also emperor in tarot so i feel like if you are giving your power away to somebody she's asking you to claim back your power claim back your energy with the four of pentacles with the king of excuse me the knight of cups 111 trust your intuition because you actually have a lot of loving people you need to surround yourself around the right energies i feel like she's protecting you from anyone who does not serve your highest good anyone who could have been taken advantage of you draining you so you're really an energy vampire you maybe weren't aware of that this person was either taking from you somehow some way emotionally energetically or physically but this is saying you are stepping into your power by claiming back your energy because you do have love coming towards you with the seven of swords yeah it's almost like she knows you could have had a gemini libra aquarius where this is your energy but it's like you discovered that someone was not being truthful and that is why this person is no longer around um you could have also discovered that someone is lying to you this is a card of dishonesty and she is protecting you from these type of people by cutting them out of your life yeah because they cause a lot of heartbreak they could have put you in a third party situation or they just disappointed you somehow some way the seven the three is a ten of swords so i feel like all of this drama this nonsense this sadness whatever your situation was whether it's with someone you're romantically involved or someone that you really just cared about like a best friend a family member whatever pain and suffering it's over is what i'm getting she's protecting you and yeah with the high priestess dress your intuition 222 balance is being restored she's making sure that you are connecting to your higher self by surrounding yourself with good people i'm also getting if this person was very unhealthy toxic or had bad habits and they were around you they were in fact blocking um your third eye is what i'm seeing here but now that this person is out of your life she's removing the people who are not serving your highest good they're not on your level they don't serve any good like purpose with regards to uplifting you and helping you progress in life if this person was just causing this sadness she's helping you heal from that by keeping them away from you and also by you knowing the truth about who your friends are that are good friends and who are the bad ones like she is just showing you a person's true colors with the high priestess trust your intuition but i'm also getting this is her as well connecting with you um i heard in spirit or um through your higher self through like a higher level of consciousness you're very intuitive um, you're very gifted but i'm getting secrets are being revealed and she's protecting you you are healing and you will have the right type of love not um any type of hurtful energy that is not for your highest good so angel number 333 as i said that so let me know if that resonates pile one please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching if you want a personal reading the info is in the description box below moonlight shadows 1111 at gmail.com if you need any spell work for cleansing reversal protection definitely email me and i will give you that information those details so that's what i have for you pile one thanks for watching we're gonna get into pile number two hey pile two if you chose this pile this is your reading you have the magic backfired psychic attack love spell etc someone could be doing a spell on you it's not working you have fairies protecting you. you could be a sagittarius or you're dealing with one but i'm also getting um this is like fiery passionate energy sagittarius is also the queen of wands in tarot so i feel like you're very gifted you're very intuitive you have um, fairies and elementals here i feel like you have these energies because they want to protect you and bring joy and peace and happiness in your surroundings goddess hecate is also associated with um fairies so i feel like she has her particular type of fairies around her um i can't remember what they're called but there's a specific word for her particular fairies um 
I was going to say nymphs, but I could be wrong. I need to research that more, but she does have some type of fairies protecting you is what I'm getting. And then we have this person who likes you, they want to get to know you. So you could have a Sagittarius who likes you, who wants to get to know you more. I'm also getting, um, she's going to protect your person that's supposed to be with you. Because I'm getting people are trying to attack your love life pile too. They're trying to stop your happiness. And Goddess Hecate is making sure that no one and nothing with a sword is going to come through. Some of them are doing sex magic with, I, I see blood. Someone could have been part of a secret society. They're doing blood work on you. They're trying to block your abundance. It's not going to happen. Um, they don't want you to progress in anything. But with the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, it's like you are a queen. You are connected in my body and spirit, the power of three. Um, with Sagittarius, I feel like you are the Queen of Wands. You are very connected to Goddess Hecate, Pile 2. Balance is being restored. Balance is reminding me of the scales, Libra, Justice. Whoever hurts you, they're getting karma. They're trying to disrupt your energy field. They can't harm you. You're claiming back your energy. Work with Citrine and Pyrite for your solar plexus because there's something about your finances. She wants you to know someone's trying to mess with your energy to take your blessings of abundance, health, wealth, love. Like they want to take all of your blessings and they can't. I'm also getting Archangel Michael, the most high, higher power, is standing strong with the store. With the store? Oh. Is standing strong with his sword to protect you. You could work at a store pile too. Um, you could have an Etsy shop or something online, but it's like they are protecting your finances. This person could be using sex magic to drain you so that way you don't move forward to cause a delay, to cause setbacks, because this person only knows a specific type of magic. They could pretend that they're in a secret society or they think they are, but they're not even initiated is what I'm getting. This person is a poser. You have the true secrets from the divine, from the most high. You have that great work, that ancient knowledge, because God is Hecate is connecting with you because you are the true queen of wands, not this false person who is posing to know and be high and mighty when in reality they're really just a fool is what I'm getting. They don't know. They're faking it. And because of that, their magic is going to backfire. Your true love is protected. I'm getting you have a protection spirit here with the little smile. I feel like you have a... A guardian angel, no, they're a guide is what I'm getting, or a spirit that's protecting you because Goddess Hecate has sent this person to be your guardian spirit and she's protecting you. You have spiritual energies around you and they protect you and your great work because you were the true queen of pentacles, the true abundant one, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is what I'm getting, and Sagittarius. Because we're in Virgo with the full moon, I feel like your money, your blessings, your work, your business, whatever you have here financially is protected because she is protecting you. She has a torch, um, a sword, and um, a key. So it's like she is protecting you with her sword so you can see the truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You are protected if someone was trying to do some type of attack on you or do some type of magic against you to derail you from your true path. At the crossroads is what I'm getting. The magic backfired because you are the true divine gifted chosen one. You are protected somehow some way pile too because Goddess Hecate is here. The way, the truth, the light, the torch bearer, she who lights the way. She is helping you see clearly so that your abundance and success is always going to be fruitful. It's always going to have success manifest. Your business, all of the things you want are coming into fruition. So that's what I have for you, Pile 2. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Comment below. We're going to get to Pile number 3. Hey guys, welcome to my light shadows. I don't know why I did that again. <laughs> Pile 3 could be new. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're existing, welcome back. This is for Pile 3. I have this evil eye pendant. You guys could be getting the evil eye. I left it for all of the piles, but I'm only saying it for the ones that I feel need it. I think Pile 1 needed it as well. So you may have resonated with more than one pile. That's for some, not all of you. But Pile 1, you do need evil eye protection or you are protecting yourself. So let's see. The way I put the cards for you um, is in the shape of an L. Um, I heard luck. Be a lady, so maybe you're in your divine feminine, you're a lady, you're a woman. Um, but I'm also getting um, the letter L, so your name could start with the letter L. Um, but there's a lot of love that Goddess Hecate has for you. The way that I put it, it's the crossroads, and you're here trying to figure out left or right. Trust your intuition if you leave offerings. They are greatly appreciated, is what I'm getting here. With the Six of Swords, you could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. There's a lot of positive movement forward. You're moving away from 
overcome stress is what I'm seeing and you have a new beginning. You could know that there's a new beginning coming and you could be a little bit stressed out about it. She's saying trust the process, have faith, continue to cleanse yourself from evil eye, cut the cords with anything evil, negative and toxic that does not serve your highest good. If you need help with cord cutting, let me know. I do do that as well. Um, but I feel like you are walking towards your abundance with the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, your money, your finances, your career, stability, your home life. Anything that has structure is going to bring you a lot of happiness because you're working very hard here and the work that you have done is going to be successful. You have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So if you are worried about work, do not worry because you have money coming in. I'm also getting here with the Fool card and the Queen of Cups. You have a new beginning in love is what I'm seeing. Someone loves you, you love them. I'm also getting there's a lot of strong energy here. The fact that you have this huge whale, this is reminding me of like oceanic um, energies with regards to abundance, happiness. You could like the ocean a lot. You could have been a mermaid in a past life, pile three. I'm also getting the ocean is very cleansing and healing. Go to the ocean. She has messages for you, messages of love. You can cleanse yourself in the ocean. You'd be a strong empath, Cancer. I don't know why I said Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um... Maybe that is a water sign. I don't know why I thought that was the wrong thing. You guys could be having trouble with your intuition. When you start speaking, the right words will come out. So don't even question it. Don't even think it. Um, you have someone negative trying to block your intuition. It's not going to... Yeah, with the magician. You are the magician. She's helping you stand strong. With the page of swords, you have somebody watching you be successful and they're upset. You have a spy here. Someone is trying to be like you, but you are stronger. You have Sekhmet Kali as well. You guys might work with dark goddesses or deities, and I'm getting judgment on the ones who are hurting you. Um, judgment on... If you're not a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it could be dealing with one, or you have a strong Gemini here with the swords and the magician. Um, judgment, though. This person will be sent away. They can watch you from a distance, but they can't harm you. Yeah, because you have the Nine of Pentacles with the knight of wands someone will be coming in to give you stability very fiery passionate energy is what i'm getting i'm also seeing if someone tried to ruin um i heard your demise if someone is trying to infiltrate your energy or your space or cause some tribe i heard trifling ass if someone tried to burden you because they were unfaithful to you they're getting karma if someone is trying to harm your financial success they're getting karma is what i'm getting I'm also saying make time to have fun because you could be overworking yourself. Yeah, with Hierophant, I'm hearing sing, love, joy, laugh, play music. You are strongly gifted, three, four, five. The steps you are taking to your success will bring you lots of happiness. Whoever is trying to um, harm you, their intuition will be blocked. Someone could also be jealous of your body and they're trying to do magic, glamour magic or something to try to make you gain weight, to try to make you feel unhealthy. That's being blocked as well because you have a past life with regards to being successful. The Egyptian blue lotus flower is significant for you guys as well. As I said that, I grabbed the blue evil eye pendant, so I feel like that will help you protect yourself from toxic people. Whoever you dealt with in the past that was karmic, they're regretting it. If they tried to harm you, it's all going back to them. This could have been years ago. I'm hearing six years ago. I heard that movie Seven Years a Slave. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But it's like you have been through a lot. 444, as I said, that you guys could be seeing a lot of fours. I'm getting a lot of goosebumps. You have ancestors here protecting you if you're leaving flowers. They're being accepted. You also have love coming your way and it's unexpected. But I'm getting that people who are trying to block your abundance to harm you they're being blocked do not feel conflicted is what i'm hearing because you have blessings coming your way god is hecate is clearing the path you could be at a crossroads with your finances you are choosing the right path with your money with your career because it's a part of your past life she's making sure this blessing of abundance is here i'm also getting a seal of protection um if you have something to honor her that you wear it will help you because she's connecting to you. She's watching you, making sure that you're successful. Taurus energy with the Hierophant, um, Virgo, Capricorn with the Pentacles. So this is definitely about stability of some sort. So let's get into your Oracle cards. Narcissists controlling mind games. STD, they caught something. So this was the Eight of Swords that we saw initially. Um, someone could be trying to send you a psychic attack because they have a negative entity attachment. 555, five, five. positive changes are happening because you're a Reiki healer. You've gone to one to heal. 
For some, this could be family that's doing magic on you. Do an evil eye egg cleanse, so definitely yes. I mentioned at the beginning I was only calling this out when necessary. I called it out in pile one, I called it out in pile two, and I forgot this card was in here, so yes. Do an evil eye cleanse, especially on this full moon. You are healing. It is going to heal you, mind, body, and spirit. You guys could be very strong in prayer. Pray a rosary, Hail Mary. For some of you, you pray to Holy Death. Santa Muerte would like her rosary prayed as well. For some of you, this hater is a male or they're in masculine energy. Also getting your star seed. You are blessed. Divine intervention is here. Help is here. With the star seed, I'm also getting, because I mentioned the Egyptian blue lotus flower. You guys could be Palladians or from Sirius. Um, Goddess Bastet is coming through as well with Isis. Divine intervention help is here. Green eyes. I'm also getting, because you're a star seed, you might see a light being with bright green eyes. I'm also getting Moldavite. You have a light being that protects you as well. At dawn or during the night is what I'm hearing. You have Capricorn, Familiar, 7-Eleven. You're learning to forgive others is what I'm getting. You will be releasing someone toxic. I'm hearing you're relieving them because you no longer want to connect with them. And because you let go of anything toxic or unhealthy, um, you do have a familiar. Some of you guys are very witchy. We have Capricorn. We have Taurus. So this could be your signs or signs you're dealing with. We have Virgo. So you're definitely an earth sign. And it could also mean that this full moon in Virgo, you have a lot of stability because you're in this earth element or you're dealing with one. If any of these signs harmed you, um, whoever harmed you. I heard steal your success. You could have a Taurus who, or someone here who wanted to steal your money, your blessings. They're getting karma. If you're in the public eye and someone wanted to be like you or they think you're doing great and they've watched you and they're upset that you're doing well, this person is envious. That's why they're sending you the evil eye. They're jealous. They're getting karma. For some, it could be your own mother or someone that you see as a mother. And you have Lilith, power, strength, confidence, protection, self-esteem, confidence again. So you can be very confident and this person is jealous of you. But Goddess Lilith, for those of you who connect to this energy, she is also with you. Um, I believe there's some type of association with Goddess Hecate. It has been said that I don't have confirmation, but I have heard of that in the past. Um, so that is possible if you believe that. But I do see this is giving me also, even though it's a Lilith, I'm also seeing segment like strength of the lion. Like you're a very strong person. Some of you guys could be Leos or you dealt with a Leo. Something about a work situation. I heard, yes, it's you. And then smile, laugh, have fun. So enjoy who you are. Be happy. Your success is protected. Your blessings upon blessings upon blessings are yours. And no one and nothing can harm you. Um, someone could be saying things or trying to um, do spell work by the, the comments in your social media. Whatever they're trying to project towards you that's negative, it will not affect you because you are definitely... I'm hearing you're divinely guided. It's part of your life purpose. 9-11, Archangel Michael, is protecting you from anything evil, negative, and toxic. Goddess Hecate is here. The triple moon goddess. All of her archetypes are with you. 919, because you are the chosen one. You are the one who is meant to be a healer. And you are healing from any past life trauma. Any karmic cycles are done and over with. You are standing in your power. You have abundance. You are serving the most high by fulfilling your life purpose. And no one and nothing is going to stop this. Those with good intentions will stay. And those who are negative shall be removed. Depending on their actions will be the consequences of their demise. So, whew, you guys, I have a lot of goosebumps. You guys channel through. You guys, Okay, so you guys channel your mediums. So I'm you're very psychic, um, connected. You also have um, automatic writing. You guys need to write because you're going to start writing things that's just going to flow. Ten of one as above, so below because she's connecting with you. I'm hearing thank you for finally doing this reading. <laughs> Sorry, Goddess Hecate. I had a lot of things going on, but I'm so glad that you allowed me um, to clear the path so that way we can have this reading for those who are meant to watch this. So smile, laugh, have fun. Listen to some good music, dance, raise your vibrations, be in this beautiful energy. You have something coming. I'm hearing it's a surprise and you're going to love it. So that's what I have for you, Pile 3. I send you many blessings. Thanks for watching. If you want a personal reading, moonlightshadows1111 at gmail.com. And thank you guys. Bye.